Recursion and financial modeling. Question 17. Consider the recurrence relation shown below. A0 equals 3 and AN plus 1 equals 2AN plus 4. The question is asking for the value of A3 in the sequence generated by this recurrence relation. We are going to calculate A1, which is 2 times A0 plus 4, that is 2 times 3 plus 4, which is 10. A2 equals 2 times A1 plus 4, which is 2 times 10 plus 4, that is 24. Therefore, A3 equals 2 times A2 plus 4, which is 2 times 24 plus 4. So the answer we are after is option D. From the 2019 VC examination report, 68% of the students chose the correct option. Question 18. The value of a compound interest investment in dollars after n years, Vn, can be modeled by the recurrence relation shown below. V0 equals 100,000 and Vn plus 1 equals 1.01 Vn. The question is asking for the interest rate per annum for this investment. We are going to look at the number in front of Vn, which is 1.01. So the annual interest rate is 0 0.01, which is 1 over 100, and that is 1%. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2019 VC examination report, 66% of the students chose the correct option. Question 19. Jeff purchased a computer for $4,500. He will depreciate the value of this computer by a flat rate of 10% of the purchase price per annum. The question is asking for a recurrence relation that Jeff can use to determine the value of the computer after n years, Vn. The value of the computer decreases by 10% of 4,500, which is 450. Therefore, Vn plus 1 equals Vn minus 450. So the answer we are after is option A. From the 2019 VC examination report, 76% of the students chose the correct option. Question 20. Consider the following amortization table for a reducing balance loan. The annual interest rate for this loan is 3.6%. Interest is calculated immediately before each payment. The question is asking for the number of repayments per year. Interest per year equals 3.6% of 300,000, which is equal to 10,800. Since the interest paid in the first repayment is $900, then the number of repayments per year equals 10,800 divided by 900, that is 12. So the answer we are after is C, monthly. From the 2019 VC examination report, 58% of the students chose the correct option. Question 21. The graph below shows the value in dollars of a compound interest investment after n compounding periods, Vn, for a period of four compounding periods. The coordinates of the point where n equals 2 are 2 and b. The question is asking for the value of b. From the graph we notice that v0 equals 500 and v1 equals 580. So v1 over v0 equals 580 divided by 500 which is 1.16. Therefore v2 equals 1.16 times v1 which is 1.16 times 580 which is 672.8. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2019 VC examination report, 54% of the students chose the correct option. Question 22. A machine is purchased for $30,000. It produces 24,000 items each year. The value of the machine is depreciated using a unit cost method of depreciation. 
After three years, the value of the machine is 18,480. The question is asking for a rule for the value of the machine after n units are produced, Vn. Since V0 equals 30,000 and V3 equals 18,480, the annual depreciation is equal to 30,000 minus 18,480, all divided by 3, and that is 3,840. The depreciation per item is equal to 3,840 divided by 24,000, and that is 0 0.16. So the rule is Vn equals 30,000 minus 0 0.16n. So the answer we are after is option E. From the 2019 VC examination report, 53% of the students chose the correct option. Question 23. Joseph borrowed $50,000 to buy a new car. Interest on this loan is charged at the rate of 7.5% per annum, compounding monthly. Joseph will fully repay this loan with 60 monthly repayments over five years. Immediately after the 59th repayment is made, Joseph will still owe $995.49. The question is asking for the value of his final repayment to the nearest cent. We are going to use Finance Solver on available CAS technology with n equals 1, interest rate equals 7.5, the present value equals 995.49, and payment periods 12. So the last payment is going to be $1,001.71. So the answer we are after is option C. From the 2019 VC examination report, 38% of the students chose the correct option. Question 24. Millie invested $20,000 in an account at her bank with interest compounding monthly. After one year, the balance of Millie's account was $20,732. The question is asking for the difference between the rate of interest per annum used by her bank and the effective annual rate of interest for Millie's investment. We are going to use Finance Solver on available case technology to calculate the annual interest rate. With n equals 12, present value equals 20,000, payment per period equals zero, and future value equals 20,732. The number of periods is 12. We are now going to calculate the effective interest rate, EFF 3.6 and 12 and that is equal to 3.66%. So the difference is 3.66 minus 3.6, which is 0.06%. So the answer we are after is option B. From the 2019 VC examination report, 51% of the students chose the correct option.